Have a look at that. Yeah, look at him. Bunch of tadpoles around him. I gotta be careful, because this little sucker will chomp me. Have a look at that. Oh, he's got his wings open a little bit. Have a look at that. That's an eastern tail biter. Okay. All right, don't do that, bud. Louisiana's waterways are home to crazy amounts of wildlife. But one thing that often gets overlooked are the amount of bugs that live here. I've been catching bugs all my life here. And today, I'm going after some of the more aquatic insects that can be found here. Definitely gotta watch for moccasins right now, because uh, with this rain, they will be very active, along with plenty other snakes. Now, I know for a fact that there's some really cool water bugs that live here. Brown water scorpions, the ferocious water bug, but the main ones that I'm after are the giant water bug and the eastern toe biter. Now the eastern toe biter is interesting because they only live right east of the Mississippi River and we are kind of right there. I figured that this would be a pretty good time to look for them because I almost never find them when the water's clear for some reason. Normally after a really hard rain was when I used to see them. And uh, I think with my new net and a little bit of time we'll be able to find some Pretty interesting water bugs here. Using a net is probably the best way to catch any aquatic insect. They're almost always hanging around the water's edges, hunting for little fish and tadpoles. After searching for just a little while, I found one of the gnarliest looking bugs that we could possibly find. Yo, I got one. And a couple of fish. Got a big toe biter. Hold up. I think this is an eastern toe biter. I don't think it's a giant water bug. Have a look at that. Yeah, look at him. A bunch of tadpoles around him. I gotta be careful, because this little sucker will chomp me. Come here. Oh, he's grabbing under the net. He's not letting go. Ah, look at him. I hope he doesn't fly. These guys fly really good. Don't want him flying away, so I'm picking him up. There we go. Have a look at that. Oh, he's got his wings open a little bit. Have a look at that. That's an eastern toe biter. Okay. All right, don't do that, bud. And plop. Yay, look at that. And there he is. That is the eastern toe biter. That is a really cool looking bug. They're really interesting. They actually eat little fish, little tadpoles. They'll be in areas like this full of fish and tadpoles, and they will grab them. See those big two pinchers in the front there? They'll actually eat pretty much anything that they can get a hold of. They've got a really, really painful bite with really bad venom. Now the venom is made for killing fish and tadpoles and other aquatic insects, but it actually can hurt a person pretty bad. And you can see he's actually a really good swimmer. See him swim around right there darting? They'll stay very close to the surface and look just like a leaf. And they've got a little snorkel. It looks kind of like a tail or a stinger. That's how, actually how they get oxygen. They've got a little snorkel on their back and they stick that up get some air and go right back down. These guys can bite people. They have bit people and it hurts really bad. I've heard stories of people getting out the water and finding them latched onto their legs or something like that. But uh, I've never actually seen that or uh, had that occur to me. It's just a story that I've heard. Now I always call these guys the winged water scorpion because they're kind of like a water scorpion, but they do have wings. These guys can fly. In fact, the main place I've actually seen these guys is on gas station lights at night. That is where I've seen the most toe biter bugs, which is kind of crazy. Now these guys' is cousin, the giant water bug, they're both technically considered toe biters and they're both technically considered giant water bugs. There are some slight differences. This one's a little bit smoother. They've got different claw looking things, different color, and their wings fold a little bit differently. That's kind of how I recognize them. The big difference is location though. The eastern toe biter only lives east of the Mississippi River which is really interesting. Notice how he sits up and floats like that. That's how they'll normally be sitting during the day resting. They are actually a nocturnal bug. So they'll come out at night and uh, hunt up in these little plants and stuff. Normally you need to have a lot of aquatic plants and a lot of leaves for these guys to be active in the area. I'm gonna take him out again. I just wanted him to sit in the water for him to be comfortable. Come here, you. don't bite me. That looks like a big water cockroach mixed with a scorpion. Look at that. Look at those two claws out front. Kind of like pinchers of a scorpion. You know, just used to grab things and pull them to their mouth. You can see there that snorkel, and you can actually see their wings folded up across their back. Now these guys are a species of true bug. True bugs are a group of insects that have a piercing mouth part, which they've got that little piercing mouth part there. All the basic criteria of an insect, the head, thorax, abdomen, six legs, 
The way you can tell if a bug is a true bug or not is whether they have an X or a V on their back in a pattern. And these guys actually have a V, the way their wings are folded, and they have that piercing mouth. Now, he's gotten away from me there, so I'm gonna get him right back in his little container here. I love watching these guys swim around. It's really fascinating. I've loved bugs my entire life. I've been studying these guys for a while now. And uh, I remember I used to catch a few of these guys when I was younger, but as I've gotten older, I haven't looked for them as much and I haven't seen them as much, but clearly they're still out here because I uh, didn't have to search too long to find one. So really cool to get to show you guys one of these giant bugs. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and let this bug go. Thankfully, it hasn't completely poured on us so the camera didn't get waterlogged, but we gotta hurry up and make sure we keep it that way. All right, see you, buddy. Watch him swim off. Go, 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 go. And there he goes. Well guys, that's it for this video. We really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you do want to see more bugs videos like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. That's all for now, and we'll see you guys next time.